Okay, I guess we can uh, get started. Uh, when Wilson shows up, I guess uh, he'll, he'll show up. So, um, okay, welcome everybody. Uh, I hope you are having a wonderful day, as I am. Um, again, my name is Johnny Chuck. Uh, I'm the community lead at Solve Protocol. We are a decentralized marketplace for people to create and trade bespoke on-chain financial instruments. Uh, this is our 12th community call following uh, our Tuesday call. We are indeed on a streak of awesomeness. Uh, as I've said before, this week we are connecting with a lot of great friends and, you know, great minds in the space. Um, and today we're being joined by, uh, two amazing, uh, Web3 builders, uh, Leo, uh, the core contributor of X Carnival, 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 sorry. And, uh, Yan Meng, uh, the co-founder of Cell Protocol. And, uh, we are waiting on another speaker who is the co-founder of a social a graphic pla uh, platform, uh, called CyberConnect. Um, but before I introduce, uh, this, introduce, uh, this uh, incredible group to you, remember today we're holding a giveaway valued at 600 US dollars. Uh, we're going to do this in two batches. Uh, the first batch is dedicated to solve voucher holders. Uh, so if you are one, follow our instructions on Discord in the upcoming channel to get verified for an exclusive Discord role which will allow you to participate in the first round of the price draw. Uh, we are going to open it up at exactly uh, 1, uh, 1 20 p.m. Uh, UTC. And the price pool is uh, 300 US dollars split by three, sorry, 30 lucky winners. Uh, the rest of the prize or batch two will be up for grabs in an open round which means anyone listening in will be eligible to participate and the time will be announced when the first round is over. Now, without further ado, uh, I want to introduce our group today. We have uh, Leo, uh, like I said, and Yan Meng, uh, who I know is tuning in from uh, uh, Melbourne, Australia. I know it's late. Uh, it's great to have you in uh, here with us, Yan. And thanks, uh, Leo, uh, wherever you are. Thank you uh, for joining in. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny, for having me. Thank hi, you, Neil. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? Is, is everything good? good? Yeah. Yeah, good. So, you... okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it, seems like, it seems like the dust uh, has settled a little bit since the havoc, the earlier market crash, has wreaked upon the crypto space. Um, as we all know, everything... Like happens lightning fast in crypto. Just just look at Terra, who merely after days that's after its death spiral destroyed half of its ecosystem. Right, it, it, it launched a new chain and seems to be pretty to to be you know to be doing pretty okay now. Uh, and, and now I'm, I'm saying I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing, but it, it does point to a fact that Web three is evolving super super fast and. Um, and nothing is more important to take a moment from time to time to uh, to reflect on the value of uh, the builder, the builders of the blockchain world, like uh, like you guys, and deliver to users, uh, old or new, uh, to Web three, and and then also the ways we can continually make this effort more effective. And I think that's the big part of why we're all here today. So I. Very much like the uh, opportunity, uh, the community listening in to learn about some of the cool things you guys are building, and perhaps more, uh, you know, some more personal reflections on you know, space as a whole in terms of you know where you are and going. Um, so why don't we start with X uh, Carnival, uh, Leo? I'll I'll kick it to you. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so I guess my, my, my question, my first question, I guess, is to maybe, uh, maybe, maybe talk to us about like X Carnival as a project, like what it is and, and how does it work? Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Leo, the X Carnival co contributor. X Carnival is a financial infrastructure for metaverse, uh, which is, uh, dedicated to provide the liquidity uh, of uh, solutions for metaverse assets, uh, such as the NFTs. Yeah, everybody knows it's pretty hot uh, in the past uh, half a year. Yeah, so because, you know, more and more people own NFTs and uh, some NFTs is becoming more and more expensive. 
So definitely people are gonna have the requirement of the uh, you know uh, NFT liquidity. That means if I have some NFTs and uh, definitely I want to keep my NFT and also I want to have some liquidity to invest or maybe you know just uh, uh, use to pay the bills. So as Carnival uh, provides different uh, service to such as uh, uh, first is provides the mortgage and learning service for NFT assets by uh, peer to peer model and also uh, pool to uh, customer model and it also provides uh, the valuation uh, leasing and sales solutions for metaverse long tail assets. Uh, yeah, so that's the project. Actually, I think is uh, you can understand it as the NFT uh, banking. So that means you can use your NFTs to uh, borrow money from the bank. So it's including borrow from the uh, the pool provided by the project and also uh, from the people who are using the protocol. That's pretty simple uh, to understand. And we uh, built this project for over a year. So in last year, we uh, actually we, we started to build this project uh, from the April of uh, last year. And uh, we won the uh, first prize of uh, BSC Hackathon competition and, uh, in, in, in June. So, and also we uh, successfully launched our um, protocol on BSC chain uh, in October. And uh, also we, we have a one great uh, performance on BSC last year. Uh, you know, we, we our our coin XCV has a list on um, uh, CMC Coin Gecko and also uh, GG centralized uh, um, exchange. Uh, it's a gate and uh, uh, MXC. Yeah, so after years of uh, development, right now uh, we are providing our solution. Uh, to run on Ethereum, so that's very important for us. So uh, from this month, definitely, I think it's a pretty important month for us. We're gonna uh, launch our uh, mainnet on Ethereum, and uh, we can provide more uh, service to the users, not only the BSC users but also the Ethereum users, which is which is uh, the most uh, uh, people and uh, player or NFT assets. Uh, and in, in this. Yeah, I think that's pretty uh, almost simply introduction of XCV and uh, X, as Carnival and uh, what we want to do. And uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks, uh, Leo, for this incredible and uh, really comprehensive uh, overview of your project. I'm, I'm really hooked when you said like NFT lending because. Uh, as as someone who who um, works in the community for Salt Protocol, it is like the uh, sort of like the protocol for creating this uh, you know this new digital assets called financial NFT. But we're gonna get to that when we uh, when we uh, when we get to Salt Protocol. But I before uh, before you know just 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 diving in uh, to uh, to X Carnival, I want to say thank. I, I just want to say congratulations. You know, you guys are. Is, is you guys seems to be taking off on many fronts. Like you're 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 becoming this multi-chain uh, platform that helps users like across the blo the blockchains to leverage their their NFT assets and bring liquidity to their to uh, you know to those users. Uh, so I think that's really a good thing uh, for the crypto in general. But uh, I was just curious because you did a cover. You did talk a, a lot about like the big the big picture stuff. But uh, how could you maybe give us an example as to like, say, if a regular user like me, if I have like a really uh, expensive NFT, but at the same time, I need liquid assets like stable coin, right? I, I, how, how, do I, how do I pledge my NFT into the platform and then get a loan? Like, could you maybe go, go, go through the process for us? Yeah, sure. Of course. So... You know, right now we have a, uh, yeah, I think we, uh, we, we should invite you to accept our uh, testnet. <laughs> you know, so it's a, 
I will happily, way. I will happily go yeah. and try it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So right now I can give you a simple uh, introduction and how you can make it happen. So, for example, uh, you know, there are going to be two main kinds of service on the platform. One is to peer to peer. That means that people can uh, lend you money. So it's a you know it's a, we we uh, run this on BSC chain for half a year and it runs pretty well. So that means uh, such as if you have an NFT uh, and uh, you want make some uh, you want to uh, borrow some money. And then you can put your AMT on the platform as a collateral. You can choose which one you want to put as a collateral, and then you can uh, write what, how much money you want to borrow with this NFT, and for how long, and uh, how, ma- how many, mon- how much money you want to, you will it, be willing to uh, pay for this uh, loan. So that's pretty easy. Such as uh, you know, just like what you did. Uh, with your friends in normal life. So in the system, and then you click, uh, then this offer is going to spread on our protocol and uh, the players who are interested in with this deal are going to view your your deal and then decide whether they're going to lend you money or maybe they can negotiate with you, such as uh, give you a feedback, say, that, okay, please, I want to uh, lend you a little bit fewer money but however i would like to pay you more uh, interest something like that and then you can review all the offer from the market and then you can click which one you want to choose so this is a peer-to-peer way so you know what it's, it's pretty just a, like you borrow money from a real person but however just like you are using a third party platform you can understand it as just like the ebay or maybe taobao so you know you use a platform and you make deal with another player on market uh, on the platform, All right? And, like, a P, uh, like, like a P two P marketplace, right? Exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, yeah. Yeah. We we run this on BSC chain uh, last year and uh, it runs pretty well. Uh, and then also we will provide a new model on Ethereum because you know. Uh, Peer-to-peer way is uh, not that efficient. So in most occasions, people want to get money as soon as possible. So they do not need to, want to wait. So peer-to-peer way, uh, we believe it's going to be more suitable for the people who is, uh, uh, you know, uh, very expensive uh, NFT, such as, uh, you know, uh, for example, if you have a, BAYC, so you know there are pretty a lot of uh, BAYC on the market. So some of them they are uh, more expensive than others. So if you want to borrow money, uh, but however you don't want to borrow with your you know the floor price, so then peer to peer way definitely gonna fit you best. And in most occasions, people just want to get a quick uh, learning. So pool to person, you know, it's a new model gonna be asking you to be. Uh, much better. So you can understand it like this. The protocol is going to provide a pool. And this pool is uh, always there. And the people who want to borrow money, they, they just need to put your NFT as a collateral. And then you can uh, borrow money from the pool in a very short time. So just like the AV or compound. So you have put your BTC as collateral and then you can borrow the stable coin or maybe Ethereum uh, as in a second. So, you know, in this way, it's a, just like what you said, it's a, it's a kind of an NFT banking way. So you can borrow money very soon and then you can see how much you need to pay for the interest. So, uh, yeah, I think we, we run this model for quite a while and test it and to make it uh, perfect. So we're going to launch it on Ethereum network because, you know, there are quite a lot of NFTs and uh, um, it's, it's, it's going to definitely will be the best place to, to try the new model. Uh, so uh, I, I'm not sure whether you understand what I'm talking about, but... Yeah, I'm trying my best. So if you have any questions, just let me know. It was, it was no, no, Leo. It was, it was, Chris, it was crystal clear. Uh, really, thank you for that uh, explanation. 
I, I really like how like you design or set up this P this P two P market to solve the I guess the 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 illiquidity problem of NFTs because we all know that like NFTs like art and collectibles they can be so expensive and their pricing mechanism mechanism could be so tricky due to them being like so su subjective right it all it all. All, it, I, I would say it, it mostly depends on its aesthetic, aesthetic value. And when it comes to aesthetic value, uh, it's always going to be tricky to set a price on it, right? So, uh, and then, you know, among other, other, uh, uh, you know, other variables. So I think this model really is going to help users, you know, set a price for themselves and then just find a, a, uh, a willing buyer who will take up, you know, the NFT. Or you know, as a pledge, and then um, offer the loan to the to the to the borrower. But uh, I, I guess um, my follow up to you know just to follow up on that. Um, what happens if like a buyer or a borrower couldn't couldn't pay back the loan? You know, like when when the maturity day arrives, um, what's going to happen? Like you know, this, like the, the, I, I think default is such a important topic when it comes to lending and borrowing. Yeah, that's the thing. I think we are uh, why we spend quite a lot of time to uh to to build our uh, model because you know uh when the market changed um, largely, you know, just like a uh, recently in some of the NFT projects, the price changed uh, largely. So in this kind of situation and the occasion, so what's gonna happen? Uh in most of the case, so just like the bank. Uh, your collateral, if the collateral value uh, dropped down so quickly and uh, uh, its approach to the uh, liquidation line. So uh, we're going to, you know, just uh, put the collateral NFT uh, on the market for, for, for safe because, you know, people lend your money and they do not want to, uh, you know, lose their money. So, uh, definitely, we're gonna have a um, liquidate liquidate uh, function. So we're gonna put the collateral on the market and then uh, to 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 get money back. Yeah, and also we you know because on NFT uh, market there's a uh, one problem is there's no uh, kind of uh, oracle like a chain link works. So uh, we do our best to build up the Oracle and then uh, try to avoid the, the uh, price much by uh, much by, by someone else. So yeah, that's just cost quite a lot of uh, energy and uh, time. And then you know when the bad situation happened, so uh, especially you know the the price. Uh, approach to the liquidation line so which provide by our uh, Oracle and then we, we're gonna have to uh, yeah, make the uh, liquidate and to save to, to keep the, the, uh, the, the lenders money got you got you thank you for explaining that Leo uh, that was that was really clear uh, okay so I'm gonna let you take a break because I think uh, I I think we've we've had a very good view, you know, overview of our project and how things work uh, for users. Uh, let's move on to Soul Protocol, and then uh, and I promise uh, we'll we'll come back because I think I think Soul Protocol and X Carnival, as both you know NFT centric platforms, have so much interesting commonality to to explore. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Soul Protocol, and then we're going to come back and 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 explore more of the. The NFT and the NFTs and digital assets, uh, you know, in general. So, uh, so Mike uh, or Yen, uh, I, you know, sometimes I'm I, I'm confused what to call you, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. So, um, so, 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 talk to us about Solve Protocol, right? So, explain to us like what it is and and how does it work. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Um, I have million, done this uh, for many times. A million dollar question. A time. <laughs> yes. Um, actually, um, uh, first of all, I would say uh, what what Leo just um, uh, just just uh, describe describing uh, describe actually um, 
it's, it's very it, to me it is very exciting um and i think we have a great potential to work together and to uh improve the, the liquidity of um uh, nft um having said that uh so if, uh, you know, as I as I just said, I have um, I have um, explained so for many times. Um, a pretty standard answer would be uh, Solve's um, platform for you to create and trade whatever financial instrument uh, on blockchain without uh, requiring you to write a single line of code. So it's um, it's a platform. Um, it's um, it's for everyone. It's for a common user. For, for common users, it's um, um, uh, it's a platform to enable you to create a financial instrument and trade them. Um, you know, uh, previously we are uh, we were uh, um, we we have uh, emphasized on the uh, creation of the, the the financial NFTs, financial instruments, because you know we um, maybe most of the know that uh, we actually uh, create or uh, we just submit a new token standard called ERC thirty five twenty five, which is the first the worst uh, uh, the the first the word first um, uh, semi fungible token standard, which uh, in our opinion uh, is the most uh, it's the best uh, token standard to describe or to express. Uh, advanced financial instrument so um we uh, because we have this token standard uh we uh, uh we usually emphasize on the uh, creation part of the uh, creation aspect of the of soul platform today i would like to take a different perspective maybe we can emphasize on the trading trading uh side because um we actually uh we 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 if you if you want to know, uh, if you just want to want to use one word to describe self, it should be a market. Yeah, market um, to, um, to for you to trade. I mean, any um, type of crypto assets in OTC way, in the OTC uh, style. So OTC means over the over the counter. So it's a uh, like uh, just uh, Leo mentioned, it's a P two P style. Um, actually, you can you, you will be able to trade um, Nake uh, ERC twenty ERC seven twenty one uh, asset on our platform. But in that way, we are um, at, at the best. Um, you know, we are the same as. Um, uh, other other uh, platforms, for example, uh, OpenSea, right? But uh, we we uh, the uh, our strength is that we have this ERC uh, 3525 token standard because we think that a uh, financial asset, a financial uh, a financial asset is different from a uh, say a, a crypto art. Or a crypto collectibles, a crypto collectible, because um, you know a a, a crypto uh, for a crypto art, you what you see is what you get. You know what it is uh, at the first glance, but uh, a financial instrument, a financial asset, um, if it's just a, maybe a, a symbol and a number, and with some. Uh, with some information, the maturity date, the uh, the interest rate, uh, things like that. You you, you need to know many uh, tons of information before you know what exactly it is. So um, what exactly is so you you the 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 information and uh, uh, transparency are uh, critical. So uh, we create this, um, and uh, we create this uh, ERC thirty five twenty five token standard. Uh, I, I usually use a a, a word, a, a, a knowledge uh, uh, to describe it, a, a a magic envelope. So it's an envelope so that you can put every uh, type of uh, financial instrument, a financial asset into that envelope and program this envelope. And the best thing is that you can put you can you can put you can insert a manual, a specification 
a, um, a, a spec book into that um, envelope too, so that uh, any anyone who who got this envelope can read the the manual to understand what the asset inside is, um, what the um, uh, you know to 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 learn the the, the most important uh, most important information of the asset. Uh, this is uh, extremely important for um, for financial instrument for financial asset. So um, uh, le le let me let me put it this way: um, we are actually uh, a platform, a trading platform for non-standard uh, asset, a non-standard crypto asset or financial asset. Uh, we are dedicated in in providing the best uh, best uh, trading ex experience and uh, lowering uh, the lowest transaction fee and um, mo uh, most importantly the uh, the transparency to our traders so um, yeah I, I think uh, basically this is uh, what so is uh, let me let me wrap up you you can trade anything uh, in 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 solve in the future. I mean, we are still building the next generation solve platform. Um, after we finish it, uh, maybe in in a, a three or four year, uh, three or four months, we can we can finish the solve 2.0. And after that, you can trade anything, uh, any any financial asset on solve. Um, uh, naked naked ERC twenty, uh, naked ERC seven twenty one, but uh, if you want to uh, make it more liquid, uh, if, uh, if you want to make make the the, the trade more liquid and uh, uh, more transparent, um, we recommend you to wrap uh, your 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 asset with our ERC thirty five twenty five uh, token standard. So consider ERC thirty five twenty five token standard as um, an advanced packaging technology uh, to to upgrade your uh your your financial asset to be a um uh a, a super or or sophisticated um financial asset financial instrument so uh this is what we what we are uh, doing uh is it clear yeah yeah it's it's perfect clear uh um yeah uh, i really i really like like uh, do you know when, when when you're talking about self protocol i was thinking like well x carnival is a protocol that uh, creates a pool to connect users and you know connect users to bring the maximal liquidity to the NFT, right? And then Sol Protocol, I think, is somewhat similar to what it's doing, but on top of that, with like with a, f a special flavor of 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 you know for finance, right? So it, it it's like it not only creates this market for people who wants to build financial instruments that are powered by NFT, but it also give them the tool set to, um, to create their own financial NFTs in the modular sort of way, right? You can just click and drag and drop and then punch in some numbers and then you have a financial NFT. And then uh, there's also this market where, you know, they can, they can trade their financial NFTs, they can, uh, transfer, they can split and merge and you know, do all like a host of actions. So I think that's really interesting. Um, you know, like in the market, I'm, I'm yeah, sure. Uh, a lot let, of, me, let me, yeah. uh, let, me let me say something about uh, X Cannibal. I first heard this project uh, exactly 12 months ago uh, when I joined a event in Shanghai. Uh, I, I first uh, heard this, um, this project and I, I thought and think um leo you you are doing something very important i, I recently read a book uh very interesting uh, it's uh, the name the title is the mystery of capital mystery of capital um it basically uh, uh try to answer uh, a, a a a question why capitalism uh is only is only success uh in a in few countries not in all countries because um, uh, they, uh, the, the author believe that it's because um, in most of the countries uh, in, in Latin America, in, in 
um, in the third third world countries, there lacks of um, the, a certain a certain uh, legal system uh, to enable the poor poor man uh, poor people to um, you know to transfer their uh, their asset to to be a capital. Uh, in, in other words, um, the the legal system the 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 institution in in poor countries um, actually doesn't doesn't help uh, didn't help the uh, the poor poor families to to do uh, capital formation to do capital formation and uh, if we translate that theory into Web three I think actually uh, X Cannibal is doing something that help the Web three users to do capital formation. And this is the same thing uh, Solf is doing, and uh, uh, we we provide uh, this new token standard and 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 a, a, a rich set of tools so that um, you can not only you know support borrowing uh, at, uh, we, uh, at, uh, using the the NFT as as collateral, you can support a variety of uh, transaction model models like um, installment. Like um, uh, leasing, um, things like that. So, um, and and um, uh, uh, I, I was also I would I would also to point out that uh, you can we can help you to bundle different um, you know maybe thousands of different NFTs into one into one voucher to put them to put them into one uh, envelope and um, uh, we can build trunks um, uh, from that. Uh, voucher, so um, we yeah, can we can be very good part. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The first thing I, I should say that uh, I really, um, I'm really uh, happy to hear that you you guys are trying to do a pretty important thing on on protocol. So you know, there's a ERC twenty, ERC. Seven twenty one, and then now you are trying a new one. So that's pretty cool. That's the thing which I heard. Yeah, that's actually actually what you said that in last year I heard that the soul are trying to do a, a very different way to to try to uh, develop a, a pretty new and cool thing. So I'm happy to see that it happened right now, and uh, definitely I agree with you. So. Uh, I'd like to support the solve protocol, just as what you said, that the, the envelope as a collateral to borrow money. Because the envelope, you can uh, try to put quite a lot of things into an envelope and then uh, put it as a as a, uh, an asset and try to borrow money. Yeah, that's the thing which I, I think is very uh, logical and uh, has a high potential in the future. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks to you, uh, to you both. Uh, yeah, we're definitely. I, 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 I'm, I'm sensing like a really good chemistry, you know, between, you know, between the two platforms, you know, which is always a beautiful thing to uh, to be around. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, and, uh, let's let's uh, let's talk about bond voucher, right? So, like, community uh, was really impressed, uh, you know, uh, front about this uh, this product that was launched like only two three months ago, and then right now. The the volume, uh, the you know the bond voucher was like the total total trading volume was what uh, like at twenty like, like twenty million US dollars. Uh, yeah, that was have, yeah. We have, yeah, we have helped uh, five partners to issue a uh, bond voucher and raised about twenty million, uh, slightly less, less than twenty million uh, dollars of um, fund. And uh, um, the other five uh, partners have, you know, have um, signed a contract with us, or, or I should say, signing an agreement with us. We, we, uh, we will, we will help them to raise another dozens of millions of um, um, uh, funds by issue bond, issue bond voucher. Um, uh, we expected that by the end of this year, we probably can get can get um, uh, the total, you know, fund raised vol volume volume, uh, maybe 200, 200 million, maybe. It's 
uh, you know, it's it's bearish market, and during the bear, bearish during the bear market, um, bond uh, uh, it, it are, are generally more uh, more attractive than other uh, you know assets. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, like, to think that this is like a single NFT, right? This bond voucher is actually an NFT, and it's actually crazy to think about because when the world is kind of uh, when the world understands NFT as this vehicle for art and and, and collectibles, there is another track uh, that is being developed that that uh, are powering the financial the financial instruments like. The so like the the major ones from the from traditional finance world like bond, uh, this is like the NFT is it's actually the vehicle for that popular financial instrument. And then to think that to think the 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 the, the size of the market potential that uh, you know this is going to unlock it's it's just crazy to think about. Um, but, uh, uh, but I, I, I do want to, to add a little bit to, to bond voucher. If I have your permission, uh, again, uh, about the, the use case of uh, the bond voucher. Sure. Sure. Please. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I, this is the thing that was recently, I re like really fascinated about like the versatility of, of bond voucher, this, this type of NFT. So basically the infrastructure, the bond voucher is built upon defines the things it can do, right? Which, despite this name, is just so much more than a debt instrument, right? So one example is using this type of voucher as a traditional uh, a commercial paper, like uh, like a check. Uh, so when you have one person that wants to transfer to another one uh, or multiple people an amount of money which he doesn't have at the moment, uh, he can go ahead and just create this voucher NFT on Sol protocol and send it to the recipients uh, and delay the payment to a later date, right? So now usually NFTs as you know, understood by most people, they are digital art and collectibles. Um, but with Sol protocol users can split the NFT and not just in like the, 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 the common fractionalized ERC-20 ownership, uh, sort of way, right? It, it, it's it's it happens in the sense that you can split one NFT up into as many NFTs as you want, based on the mathematical or quantitative uh, value of its underlying assets. And, and then when 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 I say assets, it can be really be anything, right? Any digital assets it doesn't have to be ERC twenty. Um, so whoever receives this unsecured commercial paper or a check. They don't. They don't have to wait till the late the the date of the payment in order to distribute further rights to claim portions of this NFT to other people. And to do so is super easy. You just go on Solve and connect your wallet, and the the Solve's D app will automatically detect your NFT voucher because you know it, it tracks your address, your your address, right? It, it, even though it doesn't show up in your wallet. The DApp will read your address. They will know. Okay, there is an NFT somewhere here that is compatible with you know the the Solve DApp, and it is a financial instrument. And then then it's going to enable a host of fast, fascinating things you can do to it, like splitting. You can split it. You can merge it, like putting thing, putting two vouchers together, transferring it, uh, just putting the address from the DApp, and then the other person will receive the NFT. Uh, with the same contractual terms, uh, 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 you know, uh, that the first per the person cre who created this voucher has created. So yeah, th so this is just like one dimension of voucher being exploited for the ease of managing contractual relationships with other human beings. And later on, we will have more vouchers built on this NFT infrastructure that will allow users to do even more things that they have not even dreamt of doing so so i i'm definitely very excited about soul protocol and i'm very excited to see like how the platforms like i like x carnival will pan, will pan out and really bring the liquidity to and it because i mean I, I think that's sort of like it, it's it's a it's a blessing like illiquidity is a blessing of an entity but it can, can also be a curse right so if you have an art nft and i think it's a good thing that's not it's not liquid because that will make it cheap Right, but we have to have something to bring liquidity, and I think X Carnival is doing it from a P two P market point of view, and Sol Protocol is doing it from a fractionalized 
token standard point of view. So both things, both platforms are doing great things to bring more value to this new uh, class of digital asset. So uh, I don't know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, John. And uh, yeah, we are uh, ex Cardinal, we're not just uh, doing the peer to peer way, but also we're going to provide the, uh, the, the new product, which is uh, just uh, like, the, you know, it's, it's a pool. So you can do it uh, as soon as possible, such as uh, you can borrow money from the uh, uh, from the pool instantly. So yeah, I just have one, one word. Yeah, definitely, I agree with you what you said, and both Sol and Carnival are doing a very good way and the contribution on the, uh, the asset uh, liquidate uh, arrow. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Uh, let, me some, uh, let, let me add some points. Uh, we have three, actually four, value propositions uh, for the um, for using the uh, financial NFT or. Uh, ERC thirty five twenty five token standard to uh, to create the, the the bond voucher or other uh, financial instrument. Uh, number one is uh, as you just said, it's um, it's um, uh, fractionable, so it, it means that it can be uh, uh, splitted and merged. Number two, um, it is more like um, uh, uh, an immovable uh, uh, wallet. So you can actually transfer a token into uh, NFT. Uh, this is, um, you know, I, I think a, I think it's um, a key, I should say, enhancement to the original ERC721 uh, token standard. Uh, it, it makes a, a, a NFT actually an account. Um, the third, the third value proposition is that uh, it's super. Uh, Super transparent, tr super transparent. We um, we actually we have you know as as all the NFTs, we have uh, an UI for the for for each of the uh, bond voucher. So you 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 can see an image uh, in in your wallet or in in our DApp, and uh, you can you can see um, many information. Uh, you can you can get many information on the UI. And uh, all this information are uh, extracted directly from the underlying blockchain or the uh, Oracle uh, Oracle feed data feeds. So uh, we guarantee that all the information are genuine, are 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 uh, are real, uh, are trust uh, trust uh, trustworthy. So um, this is a third value proposition, and I think the transparency. Plays a a, a, cr a crucial role in 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 in, tr in financial applications. The f the fourth one is very uh, technical. Um, uh, it's you know why we we choose to use NFT to build financial uh, instrument in the first place. Um, in the very deep root, uh, the reason is that uh, you know it you can use. Of a financial, you can use an NFT contract. You can use one NFT contract to manage unlimited number of uh, heterogeneous asset pools. Uh, this is this is the I think the ultimate advantage NFT uh, is, is has over the the you know uh, ERC twenty um, uh, token standard families. If you use ERC twenty token standard. To, to do the same thing, you have to say um, create and deploy hundreds, even thousands of um, uh, uh, a, a, a contracts, smart contracts on the chain. Um, but in uh, to do the same thing you, uh, using the the NFT standard, you only need to create and deploy one single um, smart contract to do to do the work. So it's it's much more uh, efficient and uh, in the future, um, uh, the, the the NFT technology can enable us to do many magical things. For example, uh, to uh, optimize the cash flow, optimize the asset uh, distribution across the uh, uh, the asset pools. I know this is a little bit you know vague, a little bit uh, uh, deep, but uh, uh, I, I'm I'm telling you. The very deep um, advantage, the very uh, out, the ultimate advantage 
uh, NFT uh, technology pass over, you know, the the counterparties. Okay, so this is a. I, I would like to add this this four points <laughs> to 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 what Johnny just said. Yeah. 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 Thanks, uh, Yan. I, I you know I thought I'm, I I missed something. Uh, yeah, making payments is is such a big thing uh, for for ERC thirty five twenty five tokens. Uh, they are they they work like NFTs now work like accounts, right? Personal accounts that you can send and receive money to and from. Uh, so I think that's a big step forward uh, into making an NFT not just as like illiquid or idle assets that can sit in your wallet. They are they will be sitting in your wallet, but now they will serve you. They're, they will serve serve you like in, intelligence embedded robots, right? That uh, that uh, you can you can do things too, and then um, uh, so so I think that's a fundamental uh, you know a lot uh, you know a lot uh, a logical change to this digital asset. Um, so uh, I, I do have a question for the both of you. Uh, be, you know you know because our topic today is is like has to do with Web three, and then I think this is a really good 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 time to to uh, to ask you guys a question about like. About digital assets, right? So we, you look at the Web two digital assets. There's photography, there's logos, there's animation, media, digital paintings. But what has changed? Like we're now in the era of Web three. A lot of people say that Web three has fundamentally changed digital assets. Uh, do you guys agree with uh, this statement? Um, like if you if you do or don't, uh, could you maybe explain why? I mean, we can we can start with Leo if that's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I just want to compare with your question. So you mean you you want to know whether the Web three has changed the Web two uh, digital asset or, or like, something like that? Sorry. If Web three has changed the like uh, changed uh, changed digital assets as a class of assets. Yeah, I. I agree with that definitely because uh, you know we uh, choose this uh, this uh, metaverse uh, as our direction. That's because we believe that the web three is going to change quite a lot of things. So, uh, just like what, uh, for example, just like people willing to buy the supercars in real life, but however in uh, in, in Web3, people uh, jump into the LYC as a new kind of uh, uh, way to, to let people know that they have enough money. So uh, it's, it's a kind of an interesting thing to see that people, they realize the Web3 changes their life, that especially in you know, the traditional investors, the famous traditional investors. Uh, I, I find that not only the celebrities in the uh, United States, but also uh, the famous investors in VC, uh, they buy the BLVC just uh, you know, one month ago. A lot of people buy BLVC. So it's a, it's a very interesting trade that you can see that people they are, uh, accept this kind, of, uh, uh, this, this kind of idea step by step. Uh, and also, people, the artists, definitely, I think they are one of the group. They change quite a lot because you know I have some uh, famous artists, a friend. Uh, in the past, they try to uh, they, they changed as well as beginning. They, they paint by the uh, you know the traditional way. They, they use the, uh, the, the paint. And they try to produce the real uh, pictures, the real uh, art pieces. But then they change to produce the digital uh, art pieces. So it's a one big way, big move for them. However, after that, quite a lot of them, they catch up with the NFT uh, trend, especially in the past year. Uh, I think that most of them, most of them, they are trying to understand what is the NFT, what is Web3, and the half of them, they jump into this area and try to produce the NFT pieces. Uh, yeah, I think it's a very big jump because uh, for these people, you know, they are not just like the crypto uh, native people. They, they don't understand what is the Bitcoin. They don't understand what is Ethereum. 
However, they are trying to catch up with the trend because so many artists, uh, they are jump into the NFT area, not only try to uh, earn more money, but also they found that it's the one of the uh, quickest way to make their uh, works realized by the uh, by, by the world. Uh, because you know, definitely in this uh, in this area, uh, the, the their art can be transferred more quickly and also they can earn money more easily. And, you know, at the beginning, they are, they are very hard to understand why someone, nobody, you know, just uh, draw a picture and, and they put it on NFT market, such as OpenSea, and then they can earn quite a lot of money. At the beginning, they can't understand this. And then when they try to catch up with uh, the ideas and uh, try to understand what's going on there, and uh, some of them, they get very surprised because they believe it's definitely the, the the best way for them to, uh, you know, to 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 get the, to to find out the real value of the art and their work. Yeah, so I'm very positive in this direction, and uh, I definitely believe it's just the beginning. And more and more, uh, not only the person, but also more and more instructions, uh, institutions, and then more and more. Uh, uh, ventures, uh, capitals, they're going to move into this area. And so to be honest, recently, because, you know, I, I'm uh, living in Australia, Melbourne, definitely. But however, I'm uh, born in China. I speak Mandarin and I have uh, so many friends in China. So well, from my uh, understanding that there's still quite a lot of people who don't understand what is Web3, especially in China. Uh, however, some of them that try recently, you know, by different ways, but however, I still have seen high potential and uh, quite a lot of wealth in this area. So uh, that's one of the things why I think Solve can um, do something pretty cool because, you know, the, there's a lot of uh, new concepts. Yeah, at the beginning, it's a little bit complicated, but however, uh, if people really understand this, and then they can find the uh, large possibility uh, in, in this area. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my idea. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, yes. really, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty positive with this area. Yeah, thank you. Nice, nice. Well, I really appreciate your answer. Uh, you know, I actually didn't know you're, you 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 live in the same city as you know as Yen did uh, as Yen does. <laughs> so if, if I had any knowledge of this, we probably would schedule the the uh, the call a little like two two, two like two hours earlier. So you, you so you guys don't have to stay up for this. <laughs> so yeah, yeah no worries, um, no worries. <laughs> I, I always I, I was uh, I I think at, uh, I have at least two years sleep. Uh, never before 3 p.m. Uh, 3 a.m. So I think it's, it's a good for me. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> so okay. So uh, yeah. Uh, so um, I, I do want to. I, I, at this point, I want to say to the. To, I want to make an announcement to the community. Uh, I know I have uh, not. Uh, I have reminded you guys uh, about the first uh, about solve holders, uh, solve voucher holders, and their uh, price pool. Uh, in the beginning, but uh, right now you can do that. Uh, but also, I'm telling, I'm letting my uh, colleagues know, uh, and uh, they will open up the uh, the open round for non sole voucher holders. So you can uh, draw your price in the uh, rewards channel in our Discord server uh, right now. I I just let them know, and uh, they should open it up uh, real soon. Uh, and then they this round will open for. Uh, five minutes, uh, and then uh, during which you can uh, go in there and interact with the bot, and then the results will be in uh, immediately. Uh, okay, so uh, Yan, do you have anything to to say to the question? Uh, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I was my my uh, network connection was just um, uh, getting into trouble, so uh, I, I didn't hear clear. Clearly, what what uh, Leo's uh, idea is, uh, but actually, um, if you are if you are if you are um, if you're saying that um, the Web three is revolutionized digital asset, 
we need to set up a benchmark. So um, re re revolution revolutionize what? Right. So if if um, the benchmark is Web two digital asset, it's absolutely um, it's it's totally a revolution. It's it's totally a a, a change, right? Um, but if if uh, you compare the Web three digital asset to the um, blockchain digital asset, uh, which we haven't been live with for the last decade, I think um, I, I I cannot use the word revolutionize. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a big uh, it's a big upgrade uh, because um, we actually uh, are are uh, inject the utility into those digital assets those NFTs. Uh, this is quite different because um, uh, the the current uh, cryptocurrencies and the for uh, the uh, the the ERC twenty tokens. Um, you uh, most of them are very you know the the, the value source the utilities um, it are, are not very clear so um, uh, I think in web3 we actually building a uh, uh, environment a pr production platform uh, interactive in, uh, ecosystem so that those nfts and tokens um, can play some real role, some meaningful role in 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 those uh, in those environment in those ecosystem. So um, um, this explain uh, the value uh, why this tokens has its intrinsic value, and which I think it's it's critical important critically important because. Uh, um, uh, again, I would I would like to mention the book. I'm I'm reading the the material, the material of capital, uh, the uh, mystery of uh, capital, capital. Yeah. So uh, we actually need to to have something that play a role in the uh, wealth building, and that thing can become uh, the uh, canonical. Uh, asset, and with that asset and some institution, some institution and some legal system, we can uh, we can form uh, capital. And this was how capitalism uh, was built in Western uh, in Western Europe, uh, in 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 US and in in UK. And I think even though we are in a new world, we're in 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 Web three, we're in uh, we're building our uh, metaverse. I believe that the the basic, the fundamental principle uh, is the same. Uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, you know build and form the digital capital uh, in in Web three and in uh, metaverse, and this require us to uh, uh, to you know give the tokens uh, real, concrete, solid utilities. And uh, Web three and uh, Web three, especially Web three and uh, uh, metaverse, it are you know far superior than. Um, the uh, the previous crypto project in this regard. Uh, so I think um, you know we are now at, at the end of the the, the third uh, uh, bull, bull, bull market and maybe the beginning of the fourth fourth cycle. And we believe I believe that uh, uh, the next cycle will will be will, will be the cycle of Web three. Web three, and this cycle will be will mark um, the, the the real the, the true start of um, uh, mainstream um, mainstream application for crypto and for, uh, for 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 blockchain. So this is what I'm what what I'm thinking. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Leo. Do you have anything uh, to to respond to what Jan said? No. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I agree with that. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right, I, I think uh, I really appreciate your fascinating perspective. I think uh, Leo and Mike sort of approached this, uh, this question from two distinctly different but uh, equally uh, meaningful perspective. I think Leo kind of approached it, uh, if I'm understanding it correctly, from a, more of a societal uh, perspective in the sense that, well, you know, this Web3 is creating this hype for this new, new asset class called NFT. And then, uh, you know, everyone in the world is talking about it. Uh, no one would probably even pay attention to intellectual property before, but now this Web3 is p providing a platform for, for the first time in history, the intellectual property to thrive and to be valued. I think, yes, there will be speculative uh, things going on or speculative activities going on, but the good, the good, the, I think the positive side uh, like far outweighs the negative. So I think that's that's really a cool way to look at it. And I think uh, Yen was looking at it from a more economic and uh, even like philosophical point of view. He sees he gave a very brilliant uh, you know analysis on how Web three you know fundamentally transformed the digital asset. And then uh, in in the, in, the, in the, you know in the sense of capital formation. Uh, so like I really appreciate you guys' perspective. Um, well, in, in any rate, uh, I think this is a good place to end our call. We just hit uh, an hour mark, and uh, I hope the community has uh, participated in the six hundred dollar uh, prize pool tonight. Uh, and, it's, and I hope that the sixty people uh, have one prize to take home 10, uh, 10, U, 10 USD home. Uh, uh, so, well, anyway, uh, thank you so much, uh, Yen and Leo, for joining us. I really appreciate uh, this conversation. Uh, thanks for joining in, and those uh, that are listening in, uh, have a have a good day or have a good night, uh, depending on where you are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, Johnny. Thank, thank you, Leo. You. Okay. Thank you, everybody. You. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Have a good day.